hello friends welcome to my channel today in this particular video we will going to discuss about different scopes of beans and we will also see the practical implementation of different scopes so there are total five type of scopes for a bean so let us start with our first scope that is singleton so when we declare the scope of a bean as singleton then in that case only single instance of a bean is created by ioc container now let us move on to our next scope that is prototype so when we declare the scope of a bean as prototype then in that case a multiple instance of a bean can be created by ioc container so when we need an stateless bean then in that case we can use an singleton scope and when we need an stateful bean then in that case we can go with prototype scope now let us discuss about our next three scopes that is request session and global scope so all these three scopes are related to web context of an IOC container and these three scopes are used in Spring MVC applications. So if we talk about request scope then it is valid only for a single HTTP request. Whereas if we talk about session scope then it is applicable for single HTTP session. Whereas if we talk about global session then it is valid for all the HTTP sessions globally. Now in this particular video we will going to see the practical implementation of singleton and prototype scope and in our upcoming videos when we will discuss about spring mvc then we will discuss about request session and global session scope in detail so for understanding singleton and prototype scope i have created an application with the name bean scope application and inside our application i have created an bean class with the name fruit and this class is having one property with the name fruit name and i have also created and getter and setter method for our property that is fruit name and i have created an configuration file with the name application context.xml and inside our configuration file we are defining an bean definition by using bean tag so this is the id of our fruit bean and this is the fully qualified name of our class and here i have used a scope attribute of our bean tag to define the scope of a bean and here we have provided its value as singleton so at runtime an ioc container will create only a single instance of our fruit class so let us try to understand this concept by using test class so this is a test class and inside our test class we are having an main method so we will use this main method to understand the concept of different scopes of a bean so here we are having an ioc container that is abstract application context and we will use the getBean method of our context to get the instance of the bean. And inside our getBean method, we have provided an ID that is fruit bean, which is the ID which we have defined inside our application context. So by using this statement, we are asking an IOC container to return the instance of a bean, and that instance will be stored in fruit object one reference variable. And in this statement, we are setting the fruit name that is apple. And in this statement, we are printing our fruit object one along with its fruit name property. Now in our next statement you can see that we are again asking an IOC container to return the instance of a bean and we are storing this instance in fruit object 2 reference variable and in our next statement here we are printing our fruit object 2 with its fruit name property. Now let us run our program once. So friends here you can see that for our fruit object 1 and fruit object 2 we are getting an same object value and the fruit name property is also same that is apple. And this is because we have defined an scope of our bean as singleton. So at runtime, our IOC container is returning only a single instance of a bean. Now let us discuss about our next scope that is prototype. So let me change the value of our scope from singleton to prototype. Now let us save our program. And we are not making any changes in our test class. Now let us run our program. So friends, here you can see that when we have defined the scope of our bean as prototype then our two different objects is created by an ioc container inside heap memory and the fruit name property for our object one is apple and this is the value which we have defined inside our test class and the fruit name property for our fruit object two is coming as null so friends i hope that you are able to understand that when we define the scope of our bean as prototype then an ioc container creates a different object for a bean and when we define the scope of our bean as singleton then in that case only a single instance of a bean is created and also singleton is a default scope for a bean so when we are not providing any value for our scope attribute then by default the scope of our bean is singleton so this is a test class let me run our program once 
so here in console you can see that a single object is created for a bean and both objects are having an same property value that is apple so i hope that you are able to understand about singleton and prototype scope of a bean and when we will discuss about Spring MVC applications, then we will see about request, session and global session scope in detail.